Hey everyone, I got something I want to share with you. Um, I promised y'all I would do some easy, easy little things for you to do here and there. That way it's not all overly complicated. I decided to do these ladybugs because they're pretty cool, they're colorful. You can put magnets on the back of them and maybe stick them to a fridge. I'm pretty confident just about anybody can do these, so I hope y'all have a good time with them and everything. What I did is I got the moss and I cut it out on setting 7 on the polymer clay pasta machine and drew a leaf and it's easier to cut both at one time than it is to try to cut them one at a time especially if you want them to be identical I recommend you cutting both at one time just to be careful not to squish it then I'm using the edge of a tool to make all my details and all For the little ladybugs, I decided to use black and just cover it with red since that's the, um, what the wings look like. I figured this would be easier to just make the whole bug black and wrap it in red um, because they're not very big so it didn't take very much clay to do this. To make identical ladybugs, just cut the same ball in half. If you can do that, I don't know, it took me four tries. <laughs> and you know cut the excess off. What I really like about using Sculpey 3 is, as, as opposed to um, acrylic paints is because I'm, I'm achieving a layer of depth to the the look of these ladybugs that I don't think I could achieve trying to paint. I mean those the detail between the where the wings come together it's actually recessed and it's all red in there and of course underneath is black. That would have been very very difficult to try to paint something like that. So this is very very cool. On the big ladybug I put a rod or a copper rod in between the head and the body because it's not supported by a leaf underneath. And to install the little ladybugs I I used liquid Sculpey that way I didn't have to squish them down onto that clay and they are on there good. They're completely 100% attached all the way around, no air spots underneath. The liquid Sculpey is really really cool stuff to have for this type of stuff. Then of course I made all my little pokey dots and pushed them all on and you just keep touching it really really gentle over and over and they get bigger and bigger and bigger and flatter. <laughs> it's actually pretty neat and getting all the fingerprints off of the my work here with the diluent. Now these were I now these are shiny. The ladybugs are shiny because I I painted them with fingernail polish. Um I have discovered that Sculpey makes a glaze, so I'm very excited about trying that and seeing how they do for my projects because I love that real shiny wet look. I mean, I could do a lot with it, so um, I really hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. It, it's uh, something fast and easy. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading very frequently. Been trying to get some things figured out around the house. and I'm pretty much squared away and I'm ready to do some more stuff with y'all. Um, thank you so much for watching. Till next time.